A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a startling turn of events, Elizabeth Finch, the former writer for the hit medical drama, Grey's Anatomy, has publicly apologized for her extensive web of lies that deceived friends, family, and colleagues alike. This revelation comes on the day of the premiere of Peacock's investigative docuseries, Anatomy of Lies, which meticulously unravels the deceitful life of Finch, who was exposed as a compulsive liar in a series of bombshell articles published in 2022. Finch took to Instagram to express her remorse, stating, I've given no one any reason to believe a word I say. I lied about so much. Things so many people have been devastated by in real life. I'm sorry feels like the smallest words compared to what I've done, yet they are the truest. This heartfelt apology marks a significant moment in Finch's journey as she acknowledges the trauma her lies have caused to those around her. Throughout her career, Finch's fabrications inspired plot lines in Grey's Anatomy, including her claims of battling a rare form of cancer, which she used to gain sympathy and credibility in the industry. The docuseries, directed by Evgenia Peretz and David Shiskal, delves into the depths of her deceit, revealing how Finch went to great lengths to maintain her facade, including shaving her head and faking chemotherapy treatments. Her lies extended beyond her health, as she also fabricated stories about being sexually harassed on set, cleaning up after a tragic mass shooting, and even losing a brother to suicide. These revelations left a trail of pain and betrayal for those who trusted her, including her now ex-wife, Jennifer Bayer. In her Instagram post, Finch reflects on her relationship with Bayer, whom she met while both were in treatment at a mental health facility in Arizona. She describes the love she felt for Bayer and the regret she carries for not being honest before accepting her marriage proposal. The biggest mistake of my life, alongside lying about cancer in the first place, was saying yes to Jennifer's proposal before I was honest with her, Finch admits. The docuseries features interviews with those affected by Finch's actions, including Bayer and Finch's children, who offer their perspectives on the impact of her lies. Parrots, one of the directors, revealed that Finch has been reaching out to people about potential work opportunities, hinting at a desire to move forward from her past. However, Finch acknowledges that rebuilding trust will take time, stating, I recognize all of this will take time for people to believe. The docuseries not only serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of deceit, but also sheds light on the importance of mental health treatment, which Finch has been pursuing for nearly three years. She concludes her post with a commitment to accountability, saying, Nothing matters more to me than holding myself accountable in every way. I will continue to repair whatever damage I can and ensure I am not the worst things I've done. As Anatomy of Lies premieres on Peacock, viewers are left to ponder the complexities of truth, love, and the lengths one might go to in order to maintain a facade. Finch's journey serves as a reminder of the profound effects that lies can have on personal relationships and the importance of seeking help and healing. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.